And finally, new rules. Since this is our last show of the season and our Thanksgiving show, I'd like to start tonight by giving thanks this year to Donald Trump and all the loons, Karens, Kool-Aid drinkers, D-list celebrities and unqualified weirdos he put up for office who scared some sense into America on Election Day. <laughs> And thus made this holiday season so much brighter for me and millions of other Americans. Thank you, Republican douchebags, class of 22. <laughs> Thank you, Doug Mastriano and Tudor Dixon and Carrie Lake and Blake Masters and all the other election deniers who ran for Secretary of State and Governor in swing states and lost, which was almost all of them. And... <laughs> And thanks to decent Republicans like Brad Raffsenberger, who defied Trump and won. Yes, in 2022, against everybody's predictions, except Michael Moore. <laughs> the deniers lost and the defiers won. And America showed the world that the reports of our death were slightly exaggerated. <laughs> We went from goddamn America to goddamn America. <laughs> Maybe we're not quite as crazy as we look. Republicans showed they could dump their baggage, and independents showed they could actually be independent. <laughs> you... <clears throat> Usually they're just closet Republicans, but this year they did what they never do in midterms. They came out in droves for the party in power and told the party that ran on a platform of fuck elections, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Sometimes this country surprises you with its ability to revert back to sane. We saw it when we elected the first black president. We saw it with the acceptance of gay marriage and with the end of disco. <laughs> We saw it when we ended prohibition and segregation and stopped allowing doctors to smoke during surgery. <laughs> One day, we may even stop making comic book movies. <laughs> sure, we're a country that chose to deliberately eat Tide Pods, but how about some credit for when we eventually stopped? But this year, this year was something special. Our better angels haven't put up a win like that in a long time. Turns out we're not guilty by reason of insanity. And right now, I feel like we're having a not as crazy as we thought moment. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's. <laughs> Let's rally the normies, which we now realize are still most of us, and bully the bullies on the extreme ends, who are such a tiny part of us, and yet, thanks to social media and partisan politics, are able to hog the microphone and make everything suck. <laughs> Our friend Jonathan here noted on 60 Minutes that the extremists are only about 7 to 8% on both sides, and yet, they get 90% of the media attention, 92% of all tweets, in this country come from 10% of the users. Why are we letting 15% of the population make us all miserable? It's like we're letting the crying baby fly the plane. <laughs> all the normal Republicans who stepped up last week, great beginning. Let's keep it going. Don't stay silent about insanity just because it's coming from your team. Call out this conspiracy stuff. Marginalize the people who believe in crisis actors and lizard people. <laughs> and who think Democrats eat babies or run pedophile rings. Jewish space lasers? I don't even know what a Jewish space laser is. <laughs> But I know even Kyrie Irving doesn't believe in it. 
We all need to call out the people of bad faith on both sides who pretend things they know are not true. Like voter fraud, it's been studied a million times. It doesn't exist. There just aren't hordes of people showing up in gray-haired wigs pretending to be dead people <laughs> and risking prison to vote for Patrick Leahy. <laughs> Voting twice, it's hard enough to vote once. <laughs> okay, you admit that, and liberals will admit that getting a picture ID is not a Herculean burden that minorities can't manage like everybody else and which most don't even object to. We, we need more grand bargains like that. Everyone's always talking about how they're tired of the extremists and how they long for compromise. Then do it. Make deals. Stop flirting with authoritarianism and we'll stop flirting with communism. Stop saying Democrats eat babies. <laughs> and we'll stop saying men can have them. <laughs> stop denying the ice caps are melting and we'll stop asking to disband ice. <laughs> stop saying there's a war on Christmas and we'll admit Kwanzaa's completely made up. Keep a lid on the Proud Boys, and we'll see what we can do about Kanye. All right. Let's all agree to form a less psycho union.